two concept vehicles from Hyundai. One doesn't just roll, it walks. The other gives us a glimpse of where autonomous driving might take us in the future. A $30,000 all-electric SUV that could give Tesla a run for its money. It comes from Fisker. And the Felino CB7R supercar. It's built in Canada, and it's coming to the Ottawa Gatineau International Auto Show. I'm Rick Walker, all that and a whole lot more coming up right here on the SST Car Show. SST is brought to you by Stark Auto Sales, home of the ultimate worldwide scratch and dent car sale. Hi friends, I'm Rick Walker. Welcome to another edition of the SST Car Show. A great lineup of vehicles to share with you today. Let's jump right into it with this concept car from Hyundai. It's from the Elevate Project, and this thing goes where no regular car has ever gone before. Humans have always been explorers. Now the engineers at Hyundai have launched a new project to further that ambition. Hyundai Cradle was created to explore vehicular mobility beyond the limitations of a rolling chassis. This vehicle is the result of a project called Elevate. It goes beyond the range of wheels. This vehicle can actually walk, climb, and traverse terrain as no other vehicle before it has ever been able to. It goes where a traditional car simply can't. The design is futuristic. The secret to its mobility is in its legs and in the power provided by its electric motors. The engineers say this vehicle has six degrees of freedom. The engineers have given this thing hips. The design is almost organic. The legs are even equipped with knees. and ankles. Instead of feet, we have wheels with 360 degrees of steering. Energy comes from a high capacity battery pack. The modular design allows for interchangeable bodies, which can be used for specific purposes. The interiors can be equipped for passengers or to carry cargo. It moves like a vehicle out of Star Wars. These dioramas show what the vehicle might be capable of. Hyundai's designer and engineers see a vehicle that can be used not just for mobility, but to save lives and improve lives. It literally will go where no vehicle has gone before. And now another concept vehicle from Hyundai. This one is called the EV45. We found it in Toronto at the Canadian International Auto Show. What you're seeing behind me here may well be the future of the Hyundai Motor Company. But to get to the future, Hyundai's designers and engineers and executives decided to look at the past. This is the Hyundai EV45. Um, and it really harkens back to a vehicle that was introduced as a concept vehicle back in 1974, the Hyundai Pony Concept. You may recall that the Hyundai Pony was a car that really was the first vehicle that really established Hyundai in the Canadian and North American marketplace. They were inexpensive vehicles that sold very well. They didn't last very long, mind you. Some people called them throwaway cars, but they really did give Hyundai a leg up and I guess a, a, a foothold into the North American market. Well, this thing, it, it looks backward at the Hyundai Pony. The EV45 is a new concept from Hyundai and it, it incorporates something they call sensuous sportiness. That's the idea behind the whole car. And you see that in the 45 degree hard angles in the design here. It's a minimalistic style. It's something that 
looks forward to the future in, in a sort of hard-edged aerodynamic lines. This is a car that looks futuristic, but also appeals to the senses. It's a car that, I guess, gives you an indication of an autonomous future and an electrified future, hence the EV45 from Hyundai. Don't go away. When we come back, we'll show you the Fisker Ocean, a $30,000 all-electric SUV that could give Tesla a run for the money. The Super Geeks Pandora Box 11 Plus is the ultimate retro video game system with upgraded computer processor, full high definition video output for use on modern TVs, arcade quality backlit buttons and toggles, the most games with over 3,000 8-bit and 16-bit classics, Super Mario, Pole Position, Mario Andretti Racing, and thousands more. Call 1-866-248-1490 or order online at supergeeksuperstore.com. Super Geeks. Watch movies, sports, and TV shows with no monthly fees. Get your Super Geeks Android TV box. Simply connect to your TV with the supplied HDMI cable and connect to Wi-Fi. Watch what you want, when you want. On demand in high definition, even 4K. A great alternative to cable, Netflix, satellite, and video rentals. Don't settle for a smart TV. Turn your TV into a genius with a Super Geeks Android TV box. Boxes start as low as $39.99 with full warranty. Pays for itself. Select from thousands of free online shows. We even provide remote service so you'll never be without your TV. Updates itself automatically. 30-day money-back guarantee. Call 1-866-248-1490. That's 1-866-248-1490. Available at thesupergeeksuperstore.com. Introducing the all-new Lotus Hearing Aid. Superior sound at a fraction of the price from Siemens and Super Geeks. Hearing aids can cost as much as $4,000 or more, but the Lotus is now affordable. Its revolutionary digital processor reduces background noise, delivering crystal clear audio. Rated a best buy through this special Super Geek Superstore offer, you can get the Lotus Hearing Aid for just $189. That's right, just $189. Free shipping, fully guaranteed. It fits behind my ear very comfortably and I don't even realize I'm wearing it. Fully guaranteed uses standard batteries. Call 1-866-248-1490. Change your life for the better. Hear conversations, watch TV, even take telephone calls with confidence again. Manufactured to world-class standards by Siemens. A name you can trust. Hearing aids are so expensive. But this was very reasonable. I now can hear what people are saying, even in a noisy restaurant or a noisy environment. Don't be fooled by cheaper devices. This is an affordable, high-quality hearing solution. Call 1-866-248-1490. That's 1-866-248-1490. Or visit supergeeksuperstore.com to order. Now I can hear everything, and it's changed my entire life. From Siemens, a leader in hearing aid technology and super geeks not available in stores sally hates paying for cable tv so she got the super geeks super tana sally called 1-866-248-1490 and ordered online at the supergeeksuperstore.com now she watches dozens of high definition tv channels for free sally gets all the major networks and specialty channels even old classic shows you can too and save money every month 100 percent legal no more monthly fees her picture quality is as good as or better than cable. She even gets channels the cable companies don't offer. Compact enough to mount in your attic or on your balcony and tough enough to mount on your roof. Plus, the Super Tana comes with a video amplifier and wireless remote control. Call 1-866-248-1490. That's 1-866-248-1490. Get smart like Sally and order your Super Tana at supergeeksuperstore.com. 
Geeky drives safer with the Super Geek's mobile phone heads-up display. This high-tech phone holder puts a fighter jet style heads-up display on your dashboard. Use your GPS and see critical vehicle information, including your speed, using the included phone app. And never take your eyes off the road. Wireless cell phone charging is built right in. Order today, 1-866-248-1490 or order online at supergeeks.tv. The Super Geek's mobile phone heads-up display. Turn back the hands of time with Antique Chevrolet Parts. Since 1971, we've been sourcing parts from around the world to help you restore and maintain antique chevs. No to tail fins, we have your parts. Call us toll free at 1-866-767-2787. Get help from a real person or go to AntiqueChev.com. Download a catalog, order online, delivered to your front door. Antique Chev, helping you turn back the hands of time. It goes from 0 to 60 in just 2.9 seconds. It is a supercar, and it's all Canadian. It comes from Felino. It's the CB7R, and it is the feature vehicle at this year's Ottawa Gatineau International Auto Show. We caught up with the man who has the vision, who put this whole thing together. He's the man behind the company and the car. It is race car driver Antoine Bissette. Canada's supercar. Yep. It's uh, a privilege for us to have it on the show, and uh, I think it's a, a privilege for the country to have something like this produced in Montreal. Mm -hmm. Where did you get the inspiration for this car? The inspiration, uh, listen, it's, uh, I've been in the racing for a long time, so it's all the detail. The inspiration came with uh, my passion, actually, of cars and uh, to push the limit of, uh, of the human and the machine and, uh, and uh, create something like that. At the end. And, and you really are trying to... I guess merge man with machine in, in many ways, including the way they, they, they're seated in the vehicle. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Even the seats are molded into the driver, same principle than in a Formula car. So I tried to keep all those feeling and emotion that I have when I was driving a Formula car and bring it in a sedan car like that. Now this is a very exclusive automobile. You're only producing a limited number. Yeah, only 10 per model is gonna be built. So this one is one of our uh, development cars. So we have five of those like that. Uh, but we sell only 10 per model, so there's going to be 10 like that. Then we have a new one that's coming out also uh, this, this year, the CB7 Plus, that is a uh, big brother of this one. The big brother, because this has two engine options, one with, I think, 500 and change, right? Yeah, 525 and 700 horsepower. We have a sequential gearbox, paddle shift, or uh, manual transmission that we can put uh, in it, yeah. And, and I guess the only thing stopping the car from going beyond its top speed is the limiter, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly, or the gear that we put in it. So everything is customizable for the client. So if somebody wants to go more on the track, we're gonna build the car more for the track. If you want to be more uh, on the road and more smooth, it's gonna be smoother for the road also, yeah. It, you're using a lot of lightweight materials in this to achieve a 50-50 weight distribution. Is there much carbon fiber used? Yeah, but the chassis is a mix of carbon, Kevlar, and metal, so it's our own little recipe. So uh, we developed that chassis, and all the rest is uh, carbon and Kevlar, yeah. And, and in many respects, then, this is a race car built for the street. Yeah, exactly. That was the plan. Yes. <laughs> and you've achieved that. And, and more than that, I think it's, it's an aggressive looking car. There's, there's real style here and it's very unique. Yeah, it's different. We didn't want to copy uh, uh, other manufacturers, so we went and do something different. It, when I look at it, it, it seems like something I would expect to see in a superhero movie. It's, it's, it's that aggressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Batman could be uh, in that car, uh, no problem. <laughs> yeah, I think it's sexier than a Batmobile, to be honest. Cool. Yeah. yeah. The front end, I mean, it, it seems to scoop up the air. Are you using the air in an efficient way? Well, we did a lot of, a lot of uh, tests with uh, aerodynamic, especially with the new model that's coming out, the CB7 Plus, but you know. And uh, yeah, there was a lot, a lot of work with that. With, with that, the arrow is it's in, insane what we can do with that. So we used it a lot, yeah. yeah. So you're unveiling it here in Toronto. You're coming to Ottawa yeah. to, to display it there. Uh, who would buy a vehicle like this? You're, you're displaying it for the public, but there's only a certain kind of person that's in the market for a vehicle. Like yeah, this. for sure. It's uh, people that for sure have a love for vehicle. They love the story behind also what we're building. It's all made by hand. So it's uh, uh, we are a rare, rare breed on that. Um, and uh, the customer who buy that are, like I said, passionate. They have a few cars often. Uh, I wish I could... Uh, 
uh, put it in a cheaper price, but it's not possible. <laughs> and the price is starting around what, 275 US? Uh, no, it's a bit higher than that actually. It's uh, around the car when they're uh, like this one's about half a million. So, uh, and the new model, the price is not unveiled, but it's a bit more. And they, the price varies because you can customize the vehicle, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. We can change so much stuff in the car, from the suspension to the gear to the the way the seats are made, the the, the finishing of the interior. We have different dash, we have different brakes. We have so there's so much stuff that we can do on the car. And that's the key because everybody gets fixated on the horsepower rating, but it also depends on the chassis, the, the, the suspension, how the vehicle yeah, yeah. handles, right? Yeah, it's important to arrive, uh, to be able to brake at the last minute, turn turn in and uh, have the grip, and after that be able to accelerate. The acceleration part is the easy part. Right. Well, it's uh, not just a supercar, it's the pride of Canada, yeah. in my view, and uh, I appreciate you sharing it hey, with us you. on the show so much. Thank you very much, okay. I appreciate it. Thank you. When it comes to electric cars, everyone knows the name Elon Musk, but there are other Electric car pioneers out there too, like Henrik Fisker, who has just unveiled his all new, all electric SUV called the Fisker Ocean. This thing is going to sell for about $37,000. Yeah, it could give Tesla a run for its money. Check this out. This is the Fisker Ocean. It's the vision of Henrik Fisker who says this is the world's most sustainable vehicle. Hey guys, I thought it was gonna be shipped to Las Vegas here. With us. So, uh, all right, this was a little uh, hairy there, but big trunk, thank you for coming. This is an all electric SUV with a range of somewhere between 250 and 300 miles on a single charge. Fisker is offering these for sale at a starting price of just 37,500 US. We're looking at certain design elements where we can take cost out of the vehicle where you don't mind, and I'm gonna explain some of that. And then we're looking at this, not only direct to consumer approach, but also taking out every single middleman that stands between us shipping a vehicle and you receiving it. And believe me, there's a lot of middlemen in there. We have taken them all out we're gonna deliver the vehicles directly to you, and through that, we're gonna be able to offer you quite an amazing price. But part of that is also how efficient we can be as a company, which is why we call ourselves the world's first digital car company. We wanna do everything digital, as little brick and mortar as possible, because that is cost. Fisker has set up a worldwide manufacturing strategy using global and localized supply chains across the US, Europe, and China. Uh, we, we have spent the last two years setting up a global su supply chain for this vehicle. Supply for the battery, that's one of the most important things, making sure you have enough battery supply. That has already been set up. We have secured enough production capacity for a million vehicles over the first five years of production. We are gonna release this vehicle in 2022. We'll start production end of 21, and we will deliver a few vehicles in end of 21, but they're already spoken for. And of course, depending on when you would put in a reservation, you would hopefully be able to get a vehicle in 2022. It's a vehicle that's engineered for global markets. We will launch it globally, obviously not simultaneously. We start with the US, and then shortly after Europe, and then eventually China. The vehicle is equipped with a full-length solar roof. But we are aiming to have extremely high output version, which will go 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds. Now, that will obviously be the extremely high output version and not the base version. The fabrics used inside the vehicle come from recycled bottles, plastics, and even recycled T-shirts. Uh, on the roof, we are going to offer, on the top version, a full-length solar roof. It'll give you about a thousand miles free zero emission a year if you're in a good weather, like here in California. Some other place in the world might be a little bit less. But why are we doing that? And is it really super efficient? Well, you know, we've got to start somewhere with new technology. Just like we're starting with electrification, we're starting with, you know, recycled materials. We want to start with putting in the solar roof. We know that this thing is improving, improving, and we can then update it because we already got the hardware. I almost see the future of vehicles being the hardware, like your phone, where you can keep on adding things to this vehicle to improve the efficiency. 
And that's something when we designed the car, we really thought about making it extremely, uh, you know, kind of clean, timeless, without too many, you know, uh, uh, creases and stuff in the side. Make it kind of like that this vehicle would also look good in five years from now. This is not something, our, our whole philosophy is not to make a facelift every two years for you to buy another vehicle. Rick Walker, SST Car Show News. We'll be right back after these messages from our sponsors. Want to save up to 40% on your next car? Learn how with Insurance Claim Auto Auction, Canada-wide with worldwide shipping. StarkAutoSales.com, a better way to buy a car, in person or online. The Super Geeks Pandora Box 11 Plus is the ultimate retro video game system with upgraded computer processor, full high-definition video output for use on modern TVs, arcade-quality backlit buttons and toggles, the most games with over 3,000 8-bit and 16-bit classics, Super Mario, Pole Position, Mario Andretti Racing, and thousands more. Call 1-866-248-1490 or order online at supergeeksuperstore.com. Super Geeks. Sally hates paying for cable TV, so she got the Super Geeks Super Tana. Sally called 1-866-248-1490 and ordered online at the SuperGeeksSuperstore.com. Now she watches dozens of high-definition TV channels for free. Sally gets all the major networks and specialty channels, even old classic shows. You can, too, and save money every month. 100% legal. No more monthly fees. Her picture quality is is as good as or better than cable. She even gets channels the cable company don't offer. Compact enough to mount in your attic or on your balcony and tough enough to mount on your roof. Plus, the Super Tana comes with a video amplifier and wireless remote control. Call 1-866-248-1490. That's 1-866-248-1490. Get smart like Sally and order your Super Tana at supergeekssuperstore.com. Want to save up to 40% on your next car? Learn how with Insurance Claim Auto Auction, Canada-wide with worldwide shipping. StarkAutoSales.com, a better way to buy a car, in person or online. Bring back the excitement with these all-new Super Geeks retro video game consoles. 621 game SNES style. Super Mario, Street Fighter, Tetris, Pac-Man, and hundreds of other classic video games included. Plug and play on any modern TV and enjoy yesterday's classic games in full high definition. HDMI cable included. Systems come with two controllers. Order now from a real person at 1-866-248-1490. That's 1-866-248-1490. Or order online at supergeeks.tv. That's supergeeks.tv. Don't be fooled by cheaper systems. Super Geeks systems use modern HDMI cables for modern full HD quality. 1-866-248-1490. Supergeeks.tv. Super Geeks retro video game consoles. Bringing the past into the future. Hey friends, welcome back to the SST Car Show. You know, when you go into an automotive assembly plant, you'll see a lot of robots in there, and there are usually guards and fences set up so that people can't come into contact with the robots because people could get hurt. But at Honda, they want to change all that, and they are changing it because they're making robots a lot safer. So this year at the Canadian International Auto Show, they set up an exhibit with some partially finished Civics, creating sort of a makeshift assembly line. And they also brought in some camera-controlled robots to show that these new robots using new technology should not be feared because they're being designed and engineered in ways that will prevent them from hurting people. Check this out. So you guys are doing something a little unusual at the auto show today because you have some robots here and some semi-finished vehicles. It looks almost like a, a mini assembly line. What, what's the purpose of this? So what we actually want to do is we want to get the public to to lose their fear of the automation and the new technologies. We wanted to show them that, that these technologies are actually going to be helping their lives, uh, preventing injuries from happening in the workplace. 
I see. So these robots behind us here, are they in use now, or is the technology being used right now? So right now, these particular robots are not used because the standards, the safety standards in Canada are, are constantly being upgraded to a very, very high level. So that's why for this show, we are utilizing these robots in a public setting. This shows our confidence in using this in our manufacturing environment. So you're at, and, and these are these are so safe that you're letting people even interact with them. Yes. Yes. So during the auto show, actually in Montreal, we had all these little small kids. They were feeding the robots these little stickers. Like hundreds of kids are all feeding up the, 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 the stickers to the robots. This is much more safe than what we've ever had in the past. So that's why we're going to use it in our plants. And I guess this also gives people some insight into what the vehicles look like in, in a semi-finished um, fashion, right? Yes. So if you take a look at all the other booths, they're just cars, the finished products. But what we actually want to show is behind the scenes, all the technology, all the the things that improve, for instance, rust, rust coating in this one. For this one, it might be the, the technologies in manufacturing to put together a car. Because in the press, we got a lot of negative feedback in terms of manufacturing. It's not where Canada wants to be and things like that, right? But if you take a look at all the high level t uh, engineering that goes behind what we just did, it shows that this is something that people, young people should be getting into, the engineering, and this will keep Canadians competitive, I guess. Right. I guess the robots are the most impressive thing, and, and the thing that really s strikes me about these particular robots is that they seem to have sensors on them so they know how much pressure to apply. That's why they don't go haywire and hurt you. Yes. So for these robots, they have actually multiple redundancies to ensure that safety is maintained. So for this one, the auto show, we actually have force feedback so that we have five newtons, for instance, of pressure before the robot cuts out and says uh, it's exceeded it. So we've set it for a very low level at the auto show. See, and these are robots then that will do a lot of the mundane tasks in factories and um, in other, other settings where people would do repetitive things that might actually result in like repetitive strain injuries and, and just improve people's lives that way. That's exactly it. So people are not meant to keep doing the same thing over and over again, especially bending over, they could strain their backs. These robots assist you by maybe doing the bending for you. Pick up the parts from the floor, pass it to you, and you work from an ergonomic height. So we eliminate those type of things. They also uh, eliminate hazardous environments. Nobody wants to be in a paint booth breathing in the paint fumes. The robots are in their painting. Nobody wants to be in a, a weld cage where the sparks are blasting in your eyes. The robots take care of that type of stuff. Well, thank you so much for sharing this right, with us. No problem. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Well, friends, that's all the time we have today. So until next time, I'm Rick Walker reminding you, when you can't get to the car show, we will bring the car show to you online at sstcarshow.com. Multimedia Production.